We did it. Yeah. Yay. It's and proof. No one can call me a liar. I mean, they can still call you a liar. Eh. You can cut this part out of it. Oh, shit, never mind. The racers on these tracks. Well, now you see why I'm the most fear driver on the circuit. I'll earn the right to face Oxide by crushing you into brick dust. Let's race. Do Komodo dragons hiss? Komodo Joe. Yes, they do. Okay. Komodo dragons are terrifying. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they are. Nice sync. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, yeah, Komodo Dragons, um, they don't have poison, but they're toxic. Because of the amount of fucking gross bacteria they have in their body. Didn't that end up getting disproven? I don't think so. Maybe. I, I could have sworn that that turned out to be... But regardless, they can scale walls. I mean, they're still terrifying. They're terrifying creatures that will murder you in your sleep if you live anywhere near them. Um... Peter's doing it. He's searching. I am. He's going on the interwebs. The Komodo dragon is reportedly one of the hottest chili peppers in the world at around 1.4 million Scoville heat units. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? What? That there's apparently a uh, Komodo dragon chili, chili pe pepper? Yeah. So yep, yeah, it's a myth. Hmm. So that it's not just uh, uh, a bunch oh, of wait. stuff. I fucked it up. National Geographic myth of the Komodo dragon's dirty mouth. All right, I'm way behind. Uh, just slightly, very. It's fine. I'm gonna catch up. Are you? Mm -hmm. Don't get bitten. You might get not much actually. I might like uh, break several bones where they bit me because they have really strong. What is this shit, Mother Joe? Yeah. Uh, enshrined a myth that took almost three decades to refute and is still pre prevalent today. Hm. Well, there you go. The more you learn. Yep. Peter, I expect a The More You Know graphic on screen made by you custom for Wiki. We'll see. It's going to happen. We'll see. It's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, everybody at home, Peter's a big fat liar. About what? Vader's a big fat liar. All right, I hate this boss. I'm by just the way, thinking. Don't do I that, man. You technically, I have a weekend to work on. Yeah, you're graphic. fine. It might happen. It probably won't happen. But it <laughs> might happen. No, no, it won't happen. Uh, the fighters, the fighters Ed beta comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with just uh, like an MS Paint that just <laughs> comes on screen. <laughs> I just want something. Uh, Actually, I think an MS Paint coming on screen would be the best. Huh. Man, I love shitty edits. Shitty edits are my favorite. Sometimes I just go back to that fucking Spyro edit with the <laughs> stupid fucking French fries. French fries. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we need to get big and hire an editor. That's never going to happen. <laughs> If we do hire an editor, he has to be really bad at his job. Just hmm. to keep the whiff gaming way. <laughs> hey, look, I did it. Nice. Oh, well, thank you. I beat the boss. And you skipped the so slow eyes all. of doom. Mm -hmm. That's our third boss down. Yeah, We're how going many bosses are there? Fast. Oh, yeah. The well, yeah, you gotta go fast. You gotta go fast. No, wait, shit. Wrong franchise. Is it, though? Yes. They're all basically the same franchise. No. Going to lose how the, are they not the same The franchise? 3D games in Crash Bandicoot are actually good. Yeah, so are the 3D games of Sonic. No. Peter, you haven't played a single fucking one of them, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, which way do you want me to go? Uh, up? Look at all the fucking arrows. Which way do you want me to go? I thought there were only four worlds. <laughs> There's five worlds. Uh, which way Whee! matters? Let's just do this, just in case. Is this safe? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to win with, like, less than 50% completion rate at this rate. Probably. I don't think that's an issue. Oh my god, Coco. 
No, is driving into it what makes you interact with it? Yeah. That seems unfortunate. Let's open this. Three keys. Yeah. It's such a weird I don't understand design. how that third lock is doing anything. Uh, it's a really, really long lock. It's just game. a really long <laughs> deadbolt that's on the other side of it. Yeah. Like, that deadbolt goes above. It's like a really out of the way deadbolt. What the fuck? There's a. Com we just passed a computer. Yeah, there's one computer in every world. Right. But that computer was so close to the other computer. Yeah, there's one computer in every world. I understand there's one computer in every world. Okay, so Peter, there's five worlds, and there's five computers. And they didn't want to make more than one for every world, so there's one computer in every world. Sure. Basic math. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Crash Team Racing. Um, I think this is the point where I'm not going to do very well. Because I'm constantly punching you in your arm? No. Ow, he's actually doing it. This is physical abuse. <laughs> it's uh, fine. It's not on video. I can't be it Someone can't be call the court. police for me. This is coming out like a week after we recorded it, so it should still be fine. Not out of statute of limitations yet. Uh, because statute I don't... of limitations for abuse? Yes. It's because I don't remember... Are there statute of limitations for, like, battery? I think it's for everything. Uh, there I mean, isn't... batteries die after a while. Uh, there isn't a statute of limitation on murder. So anytime you see Right, movie... this level. Whoa, okay. I like that section a lot. Yeah, it's interesting. If you want to take the boost, you have to go into the danger zone. Yeah, it's a good little risk. Um... But no, oh. there's definitely... Uh, anytime you see a movie where they're like, Oh, the statute of limitations has run out on that murder. No. No. Murder is kind of a big deal. There is no statute of limitations on murder. So if you were planning on killing someone and then hiding out until, you know, you were fine, don't. Well, I mean, after a while, the case will go cold. The case will go cold. But if anything pops up to show that you did it, you, sir... Fucked. And not the good kind of fuck, the bad kind of fuck. Sure. Whee! Where Whee! is everybody? This is not good. There's one up there. I wonder who made these tracks. God damn, that's a lot of rocket. Dude, I like this boost area. This boost area is fun. You know who I could never figure out if he was a piece of shit or not? Uh, who? Raymundo from, uh, Rocket Power. Raymundo is definitely a piece of shit. <laughs> is he? Yes. How so? Uh, he doesn't really care that much about his friends. No, no. You're thinking of Otto. No. Oh, shit. Yeah, totally right. Yeah, Raymundo, no, Raymundo's great. He's a good like, dad. He's a good dad, but at the same time... He's like, a little bit of a deadbeat, but it's fine. But, like, is he's he, He's a single father, all right? Give no. him some fucking slack. Yeah, like, it's one of those things where, like, he says so many things that I just want to be like, no, you can't say that to kids. Dude, he's got Tito to help out. Yeah, and Uncle Tito was great. But, um... Oh, man, Rocket Power was fantastic. Yeah. Man, do you remember the Tony Hawk episode? Yeah. Where they had, like, the weirdly gadgety uh, skate park, indoor skate park. Yeah. And they had to do puzzle solving in order to Holy get from shit, room to room. Holy shit, so far ahead. Why was that never in a Tony Hawk game? That would have been the most amazing Tony Hawk game. You know what game that was in? Hmm. Uh, SSX Tricky. Dude, Tricky was great. It was. And in fact, I just saw it recently in the top 10 on um, fuck. Fuck. Uh, Twitch fuck. the other day. What? It must have been on... Awesome games on it quick? was not. It was just a streamer with like seventeen thousand viewers. Hmm. I can't even remember who it was, but like it was one of those. I guess like, when you have the power. Yeah. But um, yeah, fantastic game, and the Tokyo level was full of all that gadgety bullshit, which I loved. Fuck. I never did well on the Tokyo level, but I thought it was That's an awesome over. level. That's not game over. It's just. That's yeah. game over. You fucked up the lap. Yeah. No, I fucked up that race in general. But no, Raymundo was always like, you know, <sighs> All right, sorry. beach bummy. I liked Raymundo. I liked, uh, I, I missed that era of cartoons. Uh, the Nicktoon era? Which is like mid 90s, had some really good shit going on for it. It did. Um, I kind of wonder if how much of that, me remembering that show is nostalgia. 
Um, I think certain stuff is. I don't think Rocket Power is necessarily the best, but like Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Lab, all that yep. stuff. Like good stuff. Johnny Bravo is a great show. Yeah, I, I recently I will rewatched fight some anybody John, who Johnny says Bravo otherwise. And it Fucking Samurai it holds up. Jack. Samurai Jack. One of the best things about Johnny Bravo is like even though he was definitely hitting on every woman he ever saw, it's not that he didn't think that like he was primarily attracted to strong women. Yeah, <laughs> he got his ass beat by all of them. Yeah, it, it, it was it was never like you know, you owe me this shit or anything creepy like that. It was always like, hey, you're beautiful. Wanna? No, okay. I'll try a couple more times, but I'm probably gonna get beaten up. It's <sighs> Johnny Bravo was a great character, and then you had you know the Powerpuff Girls, which was great and never got rebooted. Yeah, yeah, Dexter's it never did. Lab. They just kind of dropped it and left it alone, and it's a great series on its own. Yeah, Dexter's Lab, which had one of my favorite characters ever in it, Monkey, the Super Monkey Monkey. Yeah, Monkey. Who's actually great. his Monkey Monkey? Yes. That is my favorite scene from that show. <laughs> Dude, it also had um, the Justice Friends. The Justice Friends. Dude, Val Helen Crunk, with the, like, the incraggable Crunk. Yeah, incraggable. I thought. Whatever. It's I don't, fantastic. I don't know the word, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Major Glory, Val Helen, the Viking God of Rock, and the Indragable Krom. Yeah, um, that show was great. Yeah. Uh. Uh, the Puppet Pals. Puppet Pals are fantastic. Puppet Pal Mitch. Oh Puppet, no! Uh, Puppet Pal Clem. Yeah. Lots of French. Lots of fun for boys and girls. TV Puppet Pals. TV. <laughs> They were also in, um, they had some crossover in some, some other shows, too. Yeah. Right. I think they're in Power of Girls. Uh, yeah, no, uh, there was a lot of crossover between, um, The Cartoon Network stuff those days. But, no, specifically, Dexter's Lab and Power of Girls. Uh, well, all the same writers were on both, so... Sure. But, like, there were a lot of characters in both. Uh, the Justice Friends, for example, made a lot of appearances in both series. Did they? Yeah. I remember them primarily in Dexter, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, but uh, they tried. Uh, the Powerpuff Girls tried to join the. Uh, oh, I remember. One of them turned into like Spawn. Buttercup yeah. turned into a Spawn ripoff. Yeah, she was great. Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> bring that now, just with the. Buttercup, want to help out? No, I'm just over here brooding. Yeah, it's too bright outside. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Uh such a great series but uh yeah just on an out of old nickelodeon shows guess what i found out they're rebooting or they rebooted angry beavers no figure it out figure it out they brought up we've had this discussion already with um uh that it was a remake yeah. of uh, what's my no what's my line what's my line yeah and I was yeah. actually talking, one of my coworkers recently discovered what's my line for the first time I'm like oh yeah peter loves that shit we yeah oh it's such a it. great show it's but in my, I couldn't remember figure it out the name mm -hmm. of it, and in my search for it, the new one came up. I'm like, what? What is this? <laughs> I wonder if it's any good. Uh, it's already out. Yeah, it's already out. Oh, we'll have to give it a try. Yeah, I'll take a look. I mean, I think one of the biggest Pinstripe. issues is that we're not going to recognize the people. Yeah, but if they're good enough, if they're good enough, it won't. It matter. won't matter. But. It, it, it's definitely like um, fuck this yeah, level you design, need to go man. that way. No. Oh. No, I don't, Peter. Huh? No, I don't. <laughs> That's not just <laughs> shitty level design. That's <laughs> shitty map design. Yeah. Yeah. But like, why don't we have more racing games that have a hub world like this? Like, it's just fun to move around the hub world. Sure. Hell, I'd say there are a lot of games that just don't have good hub worlds. That's period. definitely true. Like virtually any instance-based MMO. Uh, um, did you ever play Dust Force? No. That's one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. Sure. Um. Oh, good. It's a spider level. Don't worry. There's a mix. Um, but the hub world was actually like you couldn't get to some levels until you were good enough at the game. Like, it it was not gated off on um, getting new items. It was gated off on just player skill. But the game was so hard, if they didn't do that, you'd be, like, trying to do levels that are, like, impossible for your current skill level. That game, hmm. do you know about that game at all? 
Dust Wars? Yeah. No. Um, it, like, I've, I've seen a couple pictures. You're a it. ninja janitor. Sure. And you're cleaning up the forest or lab or whatever you're currently, what level you're currently on. Sure. Um, but it's really good. I recommend it to everybody if you like hard, skill-based platforms. Yeah, that seems right up my alley. Yeah, not for you. I don't recommend it. <laughs> you should listen to the soundtrack, though. I think you'd really appreciate it. I'll check it out. Um, completely unrelated, and I feel bad for this because this is something that you actually cared about. Mm. And I was listening. It's just... And I just expect you just to say yes and continue on. My, my thought process... Fuck. You know how my thought trains yeah. go. Uh, anyway... Why has Super Smash Brothers never introduced uh, uh, any of the Belmonts as a playable character? Because it's not Nintendo. Is it not? No. Konami? No, not at all. Who owns... Konami is its own studio. Completely. No, I'm saying, is it Konami? Oh, yeah, Konami Konami? Konami owns... Um, I, except for Konami's now, not even working. Uh, uh, no, they came back and said they're going to make more video games again. Oh, so Pachinko's not making them enough money, I guess? Yeah. Or... Is that not a shortcut? Oh, it is. I just don't remember how to get to it correctly. Like, safely. Oh, okay. I was going to say, turning Fuck. left. Um, oh, no, no, no. It's a shortcut coming from the other direction. Uh, that, I saw the end, the end result okay. coming. There's another shortcut right there I can do too. Anyway. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, they've started doing other uh, non-Nintendo owned characters. Yes. I could couple. totally see <laughs> Belmont being brought in as a character. Trevor, do Trevor. Trevor's cool. Which one's Trevor? Three. Okay. Two is Simon. Yeah. Uh, yes. Who's one? Uh, also Simon? Okay. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. Anyway. Trevor Belmont just seems like it could be a really cool character for that kind of game. Yeah, and he has his moveset already figured out. Yeah. Uh, I have to make that jump. There's a jump there. Uh, okay. Sorry, that was just a thought process I had. Because I was already kind of sitting on a different question I had to make you think while playing this game. Um, and to also kind of distract you and help you get in the zone. Woo! Yeah, like that. Wow. <sighs> you shaved six seconds off. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot better at it. Um, I don't know. What other games have good hub worlds? Also, fucking watch Castlevania on Netflix, Peter. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, but Castlevania story is okay. It's so good. Eh. It's so good. You see one vampire slayer, you've seen them all. It's so good. He doesn't even slay any vampires. Oh, he sounds like an awful guy. He's so player. good. Does he, like... Do you... What does he do if he doesn't kill vampires? He kills a bunch of other things, like you do in every Castlevania game. Because there's only one vampire you kill in the Castlevania game. Okay. Answer me this. And it will help dictate whether or not I watch the sure. Netflix series. Are there Medusa heads? No. Yes. Yes. But not the amount of major player. But I will tell you that it follows the plotline of three in a very fun way where, like, they go to a clock tower and all this stuff, and it's, it's all related to the areas you are in three. Um, and the way the party expands happens the way it would in 3 after the areas they meet up in. So do I have to play 3 in order to... Not at all. Not at all. It's very, very loose. But Wait, if you is 3 played... the one with, uh, Dynasty and everyone? 3 is with Alucard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Guess who's uh... the main character in the show, I wonder. Hmm. Uh, Trevor Belmont? And Alucard. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go ahead. You should watch it, Peter! Right. Bye, guys. I'll fucking kill you.